Hello everyone. Welcome to the September 2023 batch graduation day ceremony. We are here today to celebrate the incredible work done by the participants of the batch September 2023 over the last 6 to 8 months in our Jovian Data Science Bootcamp. So without any further delay, let's start with the presentations. Hello everybody. My name is Suraj and uh, I've completed my electrical and electronics engineering at KCG College of Technology, Chennai. Now I'm currently working as a software developer at Zoho Corporation. Today I'm thrilled to present my data science project, which encompasses uh, machine learning, exploratory data analysis, and web scraping. So these projects took me around four months to complete. So my first project is the exploratory data analysis on Chicago bike cycle rent usage. So this data set was obtained from Kaggle and it provides information about the routes taken, the distance traveled by the cyclists, cyclists in Chicago. So the data set contains around uh, 600,000 plus rows and 13 columns of data, which were analyzed using NumPy, Pandas and Seaborn. And various visualizations were uh, developed, uh, such as foliar maps, bar graphs, histograms and KDE plots. And one interesting insight that I found in this project was uh, the cyclists, they tend to travel longer distances uh, in a short period of, period of time using electrical bicycles. So my next project revolves around machine learning and it's about predicting the loan defaulters of the NBFI loan dataset, which was again obtained from Kaggle. So this dataset contains around 100,000 rows and 25 columns of data. And before uh, going ahead and uh, developing the uh, machine learning models, the data was first uh, cleaned and pre-processed. And various machine learning models were developed, such as the uh, decision trees and the logistic regression and random forest, and were evaluated using the recall score as the evaluation metric. And after hyperparameter tuning, the uh, random forest had an highest accuracy of around 95% and a 71% of recall score. So my third project revolves around web scraping Stack Overflow job updates uh, using uh, Python. So this project revolves around scraping the job updates from Stack Overflow using uh, a library such as uh, Beautiful Soap and Requests. So various helper functions were developed to scrape the uh, uh, details regarding the job, such as the company name and the industry and the tech stacks they use. And uh, the end data set, consists around 124 rows and 11 columns of job data in a CSV format uh, using pandas. So one interesting aspect of this project is uh, the end data set contains uh, the data in a, in a way such, a, such that uh, it is based on the tick stacks so that it becomes easier for the developers to uh, narrow down their search results for their jobs. So Thank you everyone for watching and have a really nice day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jayesh. I recently graduated from GH Raisoni College of Engineering Nagpur with my bachelor's degree in computer science and engineering. I am an aspiring data scientist. That's why I joined Jovian's Data Science Bootcamp. And over the course of six months, I learned and built multiple projects. Today, I'm going to talk to you about three of those projects. The first one is web scraping. So I scraped lead code problems using Python Selenium and beautiful soup. I scraped over 2,700 um, pages and I built different functions to scrape information off of those pages from the HTML data and then I saved all of that information into a CSV file. The final um, CSV file had around 2,700 rows and um, around 10 plus columns. So moving on to my next project, this is my exploratory data analysis project and in this, I analyzed over uh, 100,000 rows of airline reviews and I plotted different graphs such as histogram, bar charts, line charts, um, box plots to draw different insights and ask and answer interesting questions. And I used Plotly and Matplotlib and Seaborn um, for plotting these graphs and they came out quite nicely as you can see. So now moving on to our next project. 
this is heart disease prediction using machine learning project of mine and I had a data set of over 300,000 rows each row represented a person and the different columns in the data set were different aspects of that person such as if they had a smoking history or not uh, or if they had arthritis before etc and I use this data to train decision tree model and random forest model and the random forest model um, perform better than the decision tree model um, kind of expected and the um, test data accuracy of the random forest model was about 91.8 percent which is quite great. Um, I use hyperparameter tuning to make the um, uh, accuracy of the baseline model better and then achieve the 91.8 percent accuracy. Um, so this was my heart disease prediction um, project using machine learning. And this was it. These were my three projects. Thank you for watching my hiring presentation. And that's all. Thank you. Hi, I'm Anjali Ramesh from Tempe, Arizona. I recently graduated with my second master's in the field of natural science with a focus on earth and space exploration from Arizona State University. I have over four years of research experience and one year of experience as a junior data scientist in an edtech startup company called Let's Connect Technologies in Chennai, India, where my primary task was to build a recommendation engine for the application. I also hold a master's in applied mathematics. Over the last eight months, I spent over 600 hours working on 15 assignments and three projects in data science bootcamp at Jovian. Here are the major projects. Firstly, I worked on an extensive EDA project where I analyzed the air quality of the top 10 populated states of India. The initial data set consisted over 5 million rows and 20 plus columns and I utilized Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib and Seaborn for the analysis. Some of the insights from this project can be explained through these graphs. We saw news articles of pollution levels decreasing during the pandemic where here is a proof for that where we see a dip during the years 2020 and 2021 and then we see an increasing trend. Pollution levels are usually higher in the winter months than the summer. I was able to compute the correlation between particulate matter 2.5 and other pollutants. Usually CO and NO2 are produced from vehicles and human activity, whereas SO2 is primarily produced from burning fossil fuels and minerals. This distinction helps us in answering why UP and Bihar show high levels of CO, whereas Gujarat and Maharashtra show high levels of SO2. The former are the top two populated states of India and the latter are the top two manufacturing hubs of India. Additionally, I calculated the air quality index and plotted it against the population. And there is a trend that highly populated states show poor levels of air quality. For my machine learning project, I worked on predicting Walmart store sales based on historical sales data. The data consisted of over 420,000 rows and 16 columns. I trained linear models, random forests, and gradient boosting models. The model that performed the best after hyperparameter tuning was random forest, which provided a weighted mean absolute error of around $4,000, which landed me in the top 50% on the Kaggle leaderboard. I have also worked on two data analysis projects with Tableau. I developed a project analyzing the data set of over 3,000 hospitals in the USA from 2011 to 2015, focusing on the top 100 diagnosis related groups or DRGs. I designed interactive dashboards allowing users to visualize the number of discharges in each state, enabling users to understand regional trends in healthcare discharges, and further find a hospital based on the DRG and financial requirements. Florida is a state with the highest number of discharges. In the second Tableau project, I created a visually appealing Netflix dashboard with a data set of over 8,000 records to analyze and showcase the distribution and trains of shows released on the platform from 2012 to 2021. I implemented interactive filters and visualizations on the dashboard to allow users to explore the data based on type of show and show title. The most popular genre of shows are international dramas and the popular shows on the platform of mature audiences suggested by the most popular rating. 
Thank you for your time. To know about my projects, you can view my profile in this link. Greetings to everyone. I am Bhavna Bajaj. I pursued a Bachelor's of Science in Physical Sciences from Delhi University from May 2019 to May 2022 with a grade of 8.392. During this time, I developed skills in computer science, statistics, and interpersonal communications. I also attended a data science bootcamp from Jovian starting from October 2022 to June, where I completed courses in Python programming, statistics, data analysis, visualization, machine learning, and SQL. I am currently working as a data analyst at Trade Hike, where I am responsible for creating dashboards in Luca Studio, doing data analysis from Google Analytics, and tracking websites using Google Tag Manager. One of my projects involved analyzing a data set of with over 1 lakh rows and 31 columns focusing on social unrest in India and its impact on various factors. I conducted exploratory data analysis using libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn, Matplotlib, GeoPandas, and Plotly in Python. Graphs included information on different types of sub-events associated with events. Year-wise distribution of events was analyzed using a bar graph. Different groups and their involvement with the events were analyzed using a pie chart. A time series chart was made where dates were analyzed with the states of violence. Also, the region-wise distribution of the number of fatalities was done using the geographic map. The investigation revealed that Jammu and Kashmir had the highest number of fatalities mainly due to battles. In another project, I worked with the Microsoft Malware dataset comprising of over 5 lakh rows and 60 plus columns. It is a classification problem. My goal was to predict the presence of malware in the system. I trained logistic regression and gradient boosted tree models using scikit-learn and xgboost libraries. I achieved an accuracy score of 0.62 on the test set after hyperparameter tuning. I also have experience in web scraping. Using Python and Selenium, I scraped the details of different courses offered by LinkedIn Learning. I built function to extract the course titles, ratings, and duration information. The scraped data consisting of 242 rows and 9 columns was stored in a CSV file using Pandas. Thank you everyone for your time. These projects showcase my skills and experience in data science. I am excited to further apply my knowledge and contribute to the field. Hi everyone, my name is Ahlenur Khan. I am from Mumbai, India. I have completed my bachelor's in aerospace engineering from MIT University, Lucknow campus. I have worked as a data analyst consultant at Jovian and as a project engineer at FESCO Radiators. I have joined Jovian for the data science bootcamp. During the bootcamp, I have completed several projects and assignments. One of the projects is exploratory analysis of companies in India. It contains data of companies reg registered in India since 1857. In this project, I have analyzed more than 1.9 million rows of data along with 8 columns. I have used Python libraries such as Pandas, Plotly, Seaborn, and Matplotlib to create various ch charts and visualizations. The other project is Airbnb users first destination prediction. It's a classical machine learning project which has 213k plus rows of data spread across 15 columns. I have used XGBoost and scikit-learn libraries to create resident trees, random forest and GBMS models. I have achieved an NDCG accuracy of 86.8% with hyperparameter tuning. The last project is scraping Amazon's bestseller books web page. In this project, I have scraped two web pages using Beautiful Soup and Request libraries of Python. 
I have built many functions such as get books title, get author name, etc. to pass the books detail. I have stored all the information in the form of 100 rows and 6 columns in a CSV file using pandas. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tuấn Nguyen. I was born in Vietnam and I currently live in Connecticut, USA. I got a master's in life science from Skortec, Russia, and now I'm working as a researcher at Yale University. I have experience in bioinformatics, especially with genetic sequencing data. During the Jovian Data Science Bootcamp, I've done three main projects. The first one is a data analysis project on the criminal activities of Los Angeles. This is real data from the police department of the city, with more than 600,000 rows and 28 columns. I use libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Seaborms to clean, transform, and visualize the data. I try to answer questions including which the most popular crimes were, where they happened the most frequently, and who were the most vulnerable. I've gained two interesting insights. The first one is that identity theft is the new rising crime, and the second one is that the victims differ mostly by races and not by gender. The second project is a classification problem in machine learning. The original dataset comes from a phone survey conducted by CDC in 2020. Thanks to a data scientist on Kaggle, I found a clean dataset with more than 300,000 entries and 17 features relevant to cardiac health. The goal of this project is to predict how likely a person would have a heart disease simply based on the risk factor. The dataset is very imbalanced, making the prediction very difficult. I try various models, including linear, nonlinear, and sample learning, and eventually, logistic regression gives the best performance. I achieve a final area under the curve of the precision recall of 0.34. And this is a great improvement from the 0.08 of the baseline model. The last project I want to share is the web scraping from Stack Overflow. It is a standard scraping project with requests and beautiful support to get information from the questions page. A unique part is that I create a function that allows me to follow the referral link of each question, enter its full page, and scrape more info from it. All the data are organized into a 100 by 14 table. For more details on my projects or biography, please check out my Jovian hiring profile. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Nia. I'm a human resource management professional with three and a half years of experience at firms like Samsung Electronics and PhonePay. I'm an MBA graduate from XLRI Jamshedpur which is one of the top five MBA institutes in India. My last role was that of HR business partner with PhonePay, a leading firm in the Indian fintech industry. Multiple projects I delivered in the people analytics domain got me interested in pursuing a career transition to data science. Today, I'm going to share three of my projects from the Jovian Bootcamp on machine learning, exploratory data analysis, and data visualization using Tableau, where I spent 600 plus hours working on them. My first project is machine learning with Python. The problem statement here was to predict cab fares in the New York City. I downloaded this dataset from Kaggle. It had over 55 million rows and six columns. After data analysis and cleaning, I added features such as trip distance, pickup cluster, and drop cluster to minimize the root mean square error, which was a valuation metric used for the problem. I trained linear regression and random forest models on the training dataset using scikit-learn. After tuning the hyperparameters, my best model was able to achieve a root mean square error of $3.05, landing me in the top 20% on the Kaggle leaderboard. My next project is an exploratory data analysis of apps on Google Play Store. This dataset, also downloaded from Kaggle, had over 300,000 rows and 15 columns. I primarily used Python libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, and Plotly to load the data, clean it, visualize it, and gain insights on the performance of apps in various categories. I analyzed the year-on-year -year trend in the total revenue from paid apps across categories using an area chart. Scatter plots help me establish a relationship between features like number of installs, ratings, and counterfeitings. 
Upon analyzing paid apps using a radar chart, I found that dating, medical, business, and sports were app categories with the highest average price. Pie charts show that only 25% of the apps have in-app purchases and 95% of the apps are free to download. The highest number of free apps were in education category and the highest number of paid apps were in music and audio. My last project is an interactive sales dashboard for a bookstore using Tableau. I looked at key metrics such as total revenue, number of books sold, and the number of books and authors. Using Microsoft Excel, I analyzed the sales by month, genre, publisher, and format. I found that sci-fi and fantasy were the highest selling genre consisting of three of the top five bestsellers. The publisher, which had science fiction titles, contributed 70% to the revenue. Bianca Thompson was the author who had won the most number of awards. While children books have the lowest average pricing, non-fiction and memoirs had the highest pricing. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. To know more about my projects, please visit my Jovian profile. Hi, my name is Abhishek Bharadwaj and I am based from Delhi, India. I am currently doing an internship as a data analyst associate at Ganges International Private Limited. Speaking of my educational background, I completed my BCom honors degree from University of Delhi in 2022. After that, I took the opportunity to learn data science by joining the Jovian Data Science and Machine Learning Bootcamp. In the 8 months of the bootcamp, I learned many skills in the data science domain that ranges from Python programming, SQL, topics like probability, statistics, to exploratory data analysis and performing machine learning using helpful libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, and Scikit-learn. I also learned other softwares such as Tableau, Excel, and Power BI for data analysis and visualization. During these months, I also worked on multiple projects and these are some of them. This is the Indian Company Registration Analysis. This is the exploratory data analysis of the companies that were registered in India. In this project, I downloaded the dataset from Kaggle consisting of nearly 200k rows and 17 columns. I used Pandas to store, clean and craft data in multiple ways to gather different kinds of insights. For creating meaningful visualizations of the data, I use Matplotlib, Seabone, Folium, and Plotly libraries of Python. There are also multiple insights that I got after creating visualizations such as real estate companies were the highest to get registered. Maharashtra state in India has witnessed the highest number of company registrations. Reliance Geo Group is the largest company in India based on capital. Moving on. This is my machine learning project on the airline passenger satisfaction. This dataset is again from Kaggle and it consists of nearly 100k rows and 25 columns. In this project, not only I performed data analysis, but I also trained various machine learning models to predict whether the passengers were satisfied or not. After handling the missing values, categorical columns and scaling the data, at first, I trained a normal logistic regression model. The model gave me the accuracy of 87%. After that, I trained a decision tree model that took the accuracy quite high and touched 95%. After that, I trained a gradient boosting model and also tuned its hyperparameters and scored a 96% accuracy. Here is my final gradient boosting model. Another project that I worked on is the web scraping project. In this project, I scraped the latest 100 gaming related news blogs from a website called Digistatement. And the blog title, author name, date and its link were scraped using libraries like Beautiful Soup and Requests. After scraping the data, it was exported as a CSV file consisting of 4 columns and 100 rows of data. Thank you for listening patiently. For more information, visit my Jovian profile. Thank you. Hello everyone, good evening. My name is Adidas Ahmed and I am from Rudiki, Uttarakhand. I have completed my mechanical engineering from Quantum University, Rudiki. Currently, I am working as an associate data scientist at Burak Tech where I have been involved in a quality enhancement project and developed a chatbot for customer support using Rasa. During 600 hour data science bootcamp at Jovian, I had the wonderful opportunity to further develop my analytical skills and learn new techniques for handling and processing data. Throughout the bootcamp, I work on three projects that challenge me to think creatively and explore new problem-solving approaches. The first project I work on was the US used car market analysis. The dataset for this project contained over 3 million rows and 66 columns, providing comprehensive information about the, US, about the used cars market in US. 
To analyze the data, I utilize libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Smartplotlib, Seaborn, and Plotly. I use the bar plot, pie chart, tree map, scatter plot, implot, and many others graph for visualization. Through this analysis, I discovered insights such as which car brands were losing organic market ranking based on sales using implot. I also found that SUV crossover were the most popular type of car followed by sedans. Additionally, I learned that the average duration for a car in the used car market was a maximum of 60 days. If a car stays on the market for longer, it is advisable to reconsider the price or address any defect for selling quickly. <clears throat> Furthermore, I discovered that seasonality does not impact car prices except for slightly higher prices in February. Moving on to the second project, this was a regression problem where the goal was to predict a continuous value that is micro business density. The dataset consisted of more than 120k rows and 20 columns of data. For this project, I employed various machine learning algorithms and techniques including linear regression, decision tree, random forest and XGBoost. After hyperparameter tuning, I achieved a symmetric mean absolute percentage error of 1.02 using XGBoost. Finally, for my third and final project, I focus on scrapping cryptocurrency data. I scrapped the CoinMarketGap website to extract weekly historical snapshot of cryptocurrencies. To accomplish this, I utilize libraries such as Request Beautiful Soup for Selenium and Selenium. I build functions to scrap information such as names, market cap, price, circulating supply, percentage change, and many more. I store 200 rows and 10 columns of data as a CSV using pandas. Overall, I am excited to continue learning and explore the field of data science. I am eager to apply my skills to help solve complex problems. To know more about my projects and me, please check my profile. Thank you for your time and thank you, Jovian. With that, we have reached the end of the graduation day ceremony. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. And one last thing for the graduates is that congratulations and all the very best for your future. Thank you.